Hello beautiful. Hello beautiful peeps. Welcome to Super Deutsch TV. My name is Eden and it's Christmas. So I don't have my normal hairband today because I'm trying out this uh, um, Christmas template from Snapchat. Try it out. It looks cute. And um, yeah, so in today's video, I thought I should share with you how you can greet your um, colleagues, uh, office mates, um, friends, relatives, um, ex-lovers, future lovers. <laughs> Why not? In German during this time of the year, okay? So, but before we get into that, I thought I should... I I thought I should share with you uh, the typical traditional um, decorations that you know we kind of all <laughs> every household but there's a basic set of Christmas decorations um, that gets put out during this time of the year so I thought I'd share with I'd share them with you and so these are traditional what you call that parang nativity scenes yeah it's um it, ca it comes from a region where you know they specialize in hand um, or wooden carving so they have that they're all so cute and normally my partner na candila which is called a kerze here and then we have yeah we have more it's actually all coming from my my husband's um um grandparents so they kept it for us um this is a um, typical what do you call that a smoking man and there are more wait a minute and speaking of speaking of wood <laughs> welcome to our what do you call that our wooden christmas tree because um we don't have a space in this um house so but i like it because it's like um it's parang it's a what do you call that assembly of just wood wooden blocks so you put them all together and then tada you have a christmas tree like that and this is a handmade star we call it stern and my ilaw siya so i can um wait Turn it on. Siyempre, it, it has to be dark para mas maganda. Ah, it was actually on. <laughs> Cannot see it. I'll probably show it, show a um, picture how it looks like during the yeah, evening. Yeah, and then we have um, like choir boys. <laughs> They're actually part of, um what do you call that? Parang a set, but I took them all, you know, apart. And then we have Santa Claus. Okay. In German, we call him santa claus because au so you have to open the a and the u santa claus and um but he also has another name he's also called weihnachtsmann weihnachtsmann because christmas in german is weihnachten okay so of course he's called the weihnachtsmann but a lot of people also refer to him nowadays kasi madami nang na-import na english words he's also called santa santa claus okay and then this is um Candle, yeah. Candle is keatse. Keatse, make sure you're smiling. And the verb for keatse is anzünden, to light. Now, let me show you my most favorite um, German deco, Christmas deco, and that is this smoking guy, yeah. He's called Martin, and um, during this time of the year, he has his own place on our, you know, um, dining table because there he smokes for us. He's a smoking guy, and um, he's called in German, a Reusche man, okay, because to smoke is to rauchen, and because he's smoking, you can call him Reusche um, man. He comes, of course, with a Reusche Kerze, that's his smoke, so you can pa buy um, these packs, and when you open them, you actually open Martin like this, or, you know, he comes in different sizes, and there's a cone, okay, so you get the cone from the box, you buy, you buy it extra, comes in different scents, then you put him back, and he can smoke for you. So now I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to show you how my little kitchen, little dining table looks like during Christmas. Okay, so here's my little corner. Um, yeah, this is, let's start with my mommy's self-made Christmas tree. <laughs> so I miss that place. So it also deserves a um, place in our, on our dining table. And uh, yeah. Basta pag Christmas, kasama yung living room ng mami ko dyan. And then we have uh, Martin here. We have some, um, it's a Christmas plant. And syempre, we have Santa. And then, let me show you my DIY project. DIY project is called Bastel Project. So it's just a couple of, um, or a bunch of um, Ferreros, which I put together. And then I filled it with some coins. I put it in this vase and I tied a ribbon around it and voila my own ferrero blooms isn't it pretty now let me light martin for you okay so let me show you how we can light martin okay how we can make him smoke so you take out the upper portion and then i already prepared here a cone okay and then so i take out this mm, mm, match phosphoro uh, <laughs> yeah tada and then normally i have a candle Pero, let me just um, put it straight here. Ayan. Until he's 
these scents are actually what you call that it's also there to clean the room to um what you call that drive away evil spirits and then you put martin back i hope you can see him put the upper portion back and if you notice yan he's smoking <laughs> isn't it cute i love him i love it so let's start with the vocabulary so christmas first let's translate christmas okay Trans um chris so first let's translate christmas okay and christmas is called weihnachten weihnachten okay and um so that's christmas and then remember we attach words to it like happy merry um yeah or um even blessed blessed no blessed christmas but let's stick first with the uh, um merry and the happy because that's normally what people say and that's not the easiest also what we, uh, which we can say that's the typical greetings okay so you say frohe weihnachten frohe is like literally happy because fro is the adjective for happy i am happy Ich bin froh. Frohe Weihnachten. Now there's another way of saying Merry Christmas, and that's like saying Happy Christmas, like have a nice Christmas. And um, you've probably heard that the word for nice is, or beautiful or pretty is schön. No, para siyang schön. Pero ipitin mo yung, you know, kind of put your lips together and squeeze the O. Schön. Yeah? Schön. And then Weihnachten is uh, associated with the uh, article D. Okay? Um, so, lagging my ending na i yung adjectives. That's why we also said frohe Weihnachten or schöne Weihnachten. Okay? Um, some people also say, like for the whole time of Christmas time, they also say frohe Weihnachtszeit or schöne Weihnachtszeit. So, the Germans are very notorious for combining those words. That's why. That's, so, say it with me. Frohe Weihnachten. Schöne Weihnachten. Fro frohe Weihnachten. Schöne Weihnachten. So that's Christmas. And then how do we say Happy New Year? Okay. Happy New Year. Then we will just recycle the word fro. Okay. And year is jahr. And new is neu. So let me, let's say it together. Frohes neues jahr. Frohes Noyes Yar. Okay? Frohes Noyes Yar. <laughs> okay, so first practice the pronunciation and then try to say it the same at the same speed with the same speed that we say that we say that in English. Okay? So let me repeat. Frohes Noyes Yar. Frohes Noyes Yar. Now Germans have another way of saying oh, of greeting you like have a good parang transition from the old year to the new year. They also say Guten Rutsch. Okay, guten Rutsch. Rutsch is a verb, which means kind of to like, umusuga nga, like um, move a bit, okay? Um, that's one meaning. Rutsch is also like to slide, okay? So those sli sliding, what do you call that? Um, sliding parang panels or slides <laughs> in those um, parks. It's a rutsch. Because literally, it's to slide, okay? And, and it's parang, you're sliding from the old year to the next year, to the new year. And they want that you have a good slide. So they say, guten Rutsch, okay? Guten Rutsch. So that's it, that's it. I hope that with these words, you could greet your colleagues, um, you know, and any German you know um, in their own language. And I'm sure it's going to be endearing, okay? So I wish you a... Um, Schöne Weihnachten! <laughs> Freus neues Jahr, guten Rutsch, and of course, blessed, blessed, blessed Christmas time um, to you and to your family. Okay? Tschüss! Till next time.